Now, from Western North Carolina's news leader, this is News 13 This Morning. Old and icy days are still ahead. Dr. Stan Setzer from the Joint Chiropractic joined us live in studio to discuss the dangers that exist in some of these cold climates. Absolutely. So, uh, Department of Labor Statistics last year released a study that showed 4,200 people were injured in workplace related injuries just due to snow, sleet, and ice alone. Wow. And then this year they're actually predicting that 11,500 people will be injured just from snow shoveling by itself. I imagine that's a tough strain on your back if it you're is. not doing it the right way. It is, that's right. Specific, uh, specifically in the lower back. Um, and that is because going back to what we've talked about before when we were talking about Santa Spine actually before, talking about low back injuries due to lifting injuries, um, if, we were, if we remember, the lower back and the discs in the lower back are at their weakest at not only the back portion but at these angles right here on the back okay and so those are mostly injured whenever you're bending forward and kind of twisting a little bit whenever we're lifting things well it's the same thing if you're snow shoveling as well you can imagine if you're bending down here and you've got some snow and you're shoveling it up it weighs about 20 20 to 30 pounds with a shovel full of snow. So if you're lifting and bending that back up and then twisting it, trying to throw it over, sure. very easy to throw that low back out and not only injure the disc, but also strain the muscles as well. So what can you do other than, you know, having the proper body form? Are there certain exercises or stretches you can do before that? Right, absolutely. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we are warming up a little bit before we go out. And we like to see me exercise on here, so, <laughs> so let's do a few, all right? So just the first things, uh, you know, just kind of walking in place, high knees, okay? Even jogging in place a little bit, okay? okay? Just to get yourself moving, get the blood flowing a little bit, all right? Now the next thing, of course, is making sure when we go out, we are layered up a little bit, okay? You don't go out, you know, you see some of the crazy people going out in the shorts and t-shirts shirts and shoveling snow and stuff like that. Not me. Yeah, not me either. <laughs> I, I've, I'm bundled up, you know, I look like the kid from uh, from a Christmas, Christmas story, story, right? So um, <laughs> making sure you are layered up, protecting your extremities especially. Um, what we also want to do is whenever we go out making sure we're using the proper type of shovels over here, okay? So we don't want to use a metal shovel, something with a metal spade on it. Again, like I said, 20 to 30 pounds is a shovel full of snow, right? Sure. You add a metal spade on the end of it, that's even heavier. So if we can use something like the wider plastic snow shovels, um, some that even have an ergonomic grip where it's a curved handle or even a longer handle so you're not having to bend over so much, that's really important. And also make sure you're not actually shoveling the snow, okay? We don't want to be scooping and throwing. That's that's. That's a no-no right there. Okay. What we want to be doing is pushing the snow, okay? So putting the, the spade down and actually just standing upright. If you have one that will allow you to stand completely upright, that's great. And just kind of moving with our legs and pushing the snow out of the way. And it's also best to kind of do a few of those, those passes as the snow is coming down, making sure we're moving a little bit at a time, not waiting until we have 8 inches to 10 inches covered up, okay? Um, now, before and after, though, if we want to do some stretching, right, we want to get things warmed up, uh, we're going to start with a little bit of neck stretches first, okay? So you can even injure the neck, not just the low back. First thing we do is a little bit of isometric exercise. You can do the standard or seating. You're just going to put your hand up beside your head. You can do it with me. Come on, okay. do it with me. Okay. You put your hand up beside your head, and you're just going to press into your hand, okay, five to ten seconds, and then release. And then go to the other side, mm -hmm. hand, and just press here and just release, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing to the front and to the back, all right? Perfect. It's just getting the neck muscles warmed up, stretched out a little bit. Perfect, and we will have even more of those ideas and some of those on our website. So make sure you go to wls.com awesome. a little later today to have some more tips from Dr. Stan Setzer. All right.